Hey guys, so I just made it to the LA Auto Show, press day number two. I'm here on the 29th. The show starts from the 30th and it goes through the 9th of December. I'm in the middle of the Dodge booth right now. I don't know if you can tell by this banner behind me, but I'm seeing some pretty cool things and I will start you off with this gorgeous Red Eye Hellcat. We got a Destroyer Gray Charger Scat Pack. The Bondurant car with the simulators, so you can actually come and sit in this car and drive it. Kind of. <laughs> so guys, this is a really cool car that just came out. I don't know if these are available for order yet. It's the 1320. It's actually a Scat Pack. And then here are the specs. So this is probably gonna be one of the coolest things I see here. Feast your eyes on this thing. You got this shirt with the reindeer? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, guys, this is so cool. Only Dodge. Dodge is the only brand that would make this happen. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys got a chance to see the reveal of the new Jeep Gladiator. The thing, this thing is beautiful in person. So it looks just like a Wrangler from the front. And I guess these only come in four-door right now. I haven't seen any in a two-door. So this orange one is actually the Rubicon trim. So imagine just how capable this thing is on some hills, some mountains, and then you can also throw your dirt, bi dirt bikes in the back. And one of my personal favorites, the Trackhawk. I will never get tired of getting a chance to drive this thing. So much fun. Guys, so what the heck? I just found this really beautiful, sparkly Jeep. Check out this color. See if we can get this to light up. Ready? Now let's see. Let's try this. So does this not look like Tricoat Ivory Pearl to you guys? Do you remember that it was discontinued in 2015 and 2016? I know this is a Jeep, but it's still FCA. So I am gonna get the facts about this color. We asked to see it, what the name of it is to see if it matches up to mine. So guys, I am going to lose my mind. They actually brought Tricoat Ivory Pearl back to the FCA lineup. So I now need to find out whether they are now making this color on the Challengers or the Chargers on the Dodge side of things. This is crazy. I just noticed this minor detail, guys. Check this out. New Jersey. So honestly, there's not that much that I want to see at Kia, but I do have a little bit of respect for the Stinger. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this thing. pretty good, right? I like the brush steel wrap. I've always had a sweet spot for these Vs. So this is the ATSV. And here's the CTSV. CT6s look a little different now. They redid the back lights. This, 
This car seems to pop up at every single auto show I go to. It's really cool to look at though, so I'm not complaining. And here's the other NSX they have at the Acura booth. Last year they had the Project One up on this little slant. This is the 2020 AMG GT Coupe. And this is a little crazy to see. So I'm a huge fan of the G-Wagons. What do you guys think of this remodel? I don't think it looks as classic anymore. I think all these brands are getting a little too futuristic with their designs and getting ahead of themselves because the last design was flawless in my opinion. So this design, I always love the LFA and I feel like this, this car actually kind of references those designs. So I'm a massive fan of the LC500. So guys, I left O'Gara right as we were getting Alfa Romeo and the Stelvios and the Giulias. So I have such a, like a, a warm place in my heart for these cars because I did get to drive one uh, right before I left there. Look how gorgeous these things look. Stelvio Quadrifoglio. Just mean. And these things handle like nothing else. And we've got the Giulia Quadrifoglio. I always get excited when I see these on the road. Another thing I desperately miss about working at Afghera, my brand that I sold, Maserati. Oh my God, the color on this GT is absolutely insane. Oh my goodness. Look at this fleck. Blue Passione. This thing is beautiful. Look at this. But this one looks really So Maserati is still doing Bowers and Wilkins, and they're still doing Xenia interiors. Oh man, this car is absolutely beautiful. Here's R8. <laughs> Found it. We've got a spider. So that is all I have for you for 2018 LA Auto Show. 
Let me know what you liked in the comments, what you're excited to see. Let me know if you're actually gonna come to the show. I do have some extra tickets and I will be at Supercar Sunday in Woodland Hills at Topanga Mall this Sunday. We've got a whole bunch of tickets to give out. So if you see me, come say hi and let me know you'd like two tickets to the show. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.